We'll kick things off by looking at words. How important are words in creative arts? Is it all about the image and sound? Or are words still important to genres such as UK rap? Let's take a look. Understand what you're saying? No, neither do I. This was rapper Hobson's parodical take on the state of modern rap. A genre of music known for clever wordplay, some feels now lacking in thoughtful content and full of mumbled words, leading some to question the importance of lyrics in mainstream music. I be the stereotype, I never finished college, never went uni, I've sold drugs and my credit's all bad. Prime MC Cadet has gained a reputation for his brutally honest and personal lyrics and feel songs with meaning live longer in the memory. You can take a sentence out of like a James Brown song and be like, okay, you can actually apply it to your life, do you know what I mean, with actually saying something rather than just talking. Because a lot of rappers nowadays are just talk for just because it sounds good, but it doesn't actually mean anything. It does, it does. A lot of people that actually have lived forever, a lot of musicians that live forever because they, they, they go from just saying stuff to it that sounds good, but it has like a, a, melod a melodic sound or whatever to actually saying something worth saying. When I grew up listening to albums and they took me places, do you know what I mean? I could listen to stories, right? And especially now with a bunch of artists that are really you know like telling stories in their records and like Stormzy tried with a freestyle like there wasn't a hook to break from like you're listening to what he's saying so for me um, you know I'd never want to dilute what anyone does. Well for some lyrics play a huge part for others even if you can't understand what's being said it's all about the vibe the vibe because it's a vibe the vibe is important Michael Jackson is a perfect example can anybody tell me what he says in don't stop to get enough nobody knows they don't know. He's just a vibe. He's just singing. It's every, it's a vibe. Nobody really knows what he's saying. I feel like connection is key, and connection comes from every aspect of music, be it the beat, be it the bass line, be it the, the lyrics or the delivery or the sounds or whatever, you know? As long as it connects, it's a hit to me. You're in a club and you're drunk and the music's coming on, you're moving. You ain't going, oh my God, what a beautiful sentiment. Oh, did you hear what he said? You're not thinking like that. You're like, hey, yeah, let's go, boom, boom, and that's it. It's just fun. Rap music and offensive controversial lyrics have seemingly always gone hand in hand. While TV and radio was censor content, a lot of music in 2016 is promoted and digested by young people through online platforms such as GRM Daily, giving artists free reign over content. So for some of music's tastemakers, the words in a song are not such an issue, as long as it's a hit. To be honest, what I'm here for is to expose musical artists to the, to the culture and to the audience. I don't care if they're lying in their raps, I don't care if they're telling the truth in their rap. We don't really necessarily, I have to admit, take into consideration what people are saying, as long as people want to hear it. Sometimes if it's homophobic or if it just has, you know, you know, any, like you said, any of the other phobics, that can be sort of insidious, right? I, I do try to be somewhat mindful about it, but at the same time, if I try to be like, as strict about it as maybe what my personal beliefs are, I probably couldn't be a DJ. I'm not just gonna play lyrics. No acapella on my show. So the beat's gotta be right, and the beat and the lyrics together have gotta be right. It's gotta be a song. So yeah, lyrics are important, but not as important as the song. So what do you think? Do lyrics matter?